There you go. There you go. What it do? Oh, I can't hear you. That sound tripping. I dang. Oh, I think I can hear you. How you looking now? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I had my I had one of my, my box on because I was listening to some music. I was just listening to to your verse and shit. Man, how you live? Oh, yeah, you killed it! Thank you, bro. Bro, See, as soon as I thought about that record, I was like, "It's nobody more perfect for this record than you." Bro, bro. I got another you. one for you called. I got another one for you called. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh yes. Oh yes, okay. I got one. Okay. Hey. Like I actually performed this record at like um some um you know like when the churches be giving them that thing where all they do is sing. Like this was was crazy. A pastor invited me to come do it, and I felt some kind of way about it because I'm like, ah. But he was like, no, like people need to hear this. Yeah, but he convinced me to do it. When we was DMing, I'm like, bro, when they hear from you, it it got a whole nother meaning. It's just because, like, like I changed my whole life, so I always tell people, like, you know how they always say, people always say, like, you only have one life to live. It's not the truth. I live two lives. Mm. But it's because how much in, in the beginning of my life, God wasn't in my life. Like, one thing people with me may not know about me is I'm way more spiritual than you would ever know. That's why mm. I laugh. That's why when I started talking about this, when I introduced it, me as the OG, I had to change my life because mm. I started talking to myself. It's hard to teach these little dudes to do something or to act differently or some shit like that when I'm doing the same shit that they're doing. So a certain thing that I had to eliminate. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some mm-hmm. of it was hard for me, but it wasn't as hard as I thought because mm. like mm. my my fate was heavy. Like mm. I, mm. I always it's always been the same. Kitty Black told me this one day and I never forgot her. She said, the day you decide to walk with God, blessings gonna run to you. They're gonna run to you. I dash it broke, man. I tell you, that made so much sense, right? Man. Let me tell you a situation. Let me tell you what pulled me close to God. I lost my mom and my daddy in six weeks. Within six weeks of each other? Oh, man. Kill you, right? None of them were sick, okay? Dang. I thought my life was over. Mm-hmm. As time went on, what I started seeing was... Sometimes what God will do you is he'll give you a challenge that he know you can handle to help other people. Mm. Because soon as that happened to me, my partner, Cali lost his mom and his dad. But oh. I was able to coach him through it because I hadn't been through it. So now I look at situations to where sometimes God may put me through things to be a teacher. Because ain't nothing I can handle. Man, when you when you make it through that, you're right. It's like you, it's like you didn't made it through one of the hardest things life could ever throw at you. So at that point, Whoa. yeah, nothing, nothing gets harder than that. Like people will ask, my only fear in life is losing one of my kids. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so dedicated to the streets because mm-hmm. the worst thing I would want to happen is one of my partner's sons kill me. So I got to put my feet back in the street. But what I understand about OG, the, some of them do be looking at it like. You survive something already, so it's hard to get back in it because it gives you, it makes you take a risk, right? Mm-hmm. But in order to help, you got to take a risk. In order to help, you got to take. Everybody that's listening to this right now. I want y'all to focus on that one sentence. In order to help, you got to take a risk. That's true because to help somebody means you got to get out your comfort zone. You're right. Mm-hmm. You got to get out. Yep. 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 Like, like definitely, you have to. But. Like one thing I, I, I what I, one thing that I learned was I protect my happiness. I'm protect super happiness. protective. That way I don't allow other people who have had bad days to interrupt my happiness because I don't know what the hell you've been through. I don't know what you went through that day, right? So me as a person, I have to understand that I don't know what you've been through. So I can't take it to where it's, you may be so mad at me. I don't know what you've been through that day. Mm. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shower you with some love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get from around you. If it's that bad, I'm going to get from around you. Like, I'm real enough to be able to say I can get from around you. 
Yeah. Because I put in my hat, but at the end of the day, I got to get home. I got kids to see and all that. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. It's hard to interrupt my happiness life. And mm -hmm. a lot of us, we just don't protect our happiness. We have to, though. You have to start protecting your happiness. And that will make you uncomfortable, too, because there's sometimes when you be in predicaments where you are right, but you're hurt a person's feelings by the way you say it. Mm. Like, one thing I always say is if I want to give you a message, be careful about how I give it to you. Because I don't want to be interrupted. Like, I'm yes. not going to respect you when I give you a message. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you in your calmest point and be like, come here, let's chop some game. Mm. Because mm. I don't want you to feel like I don't I don't never want you to be able to say I disrespected you or something, because if that's the case, you're gonna miss the message. If I curse you out or something because you did something so bad, you're gonna miss the message because your feelings gonna be hurt. As friends, mm. number one thing we gotta understand is you gotta protect your friend's feelings. If your friend feelings is hurt, even though you try to give him the right message, maybe you gave it to him the wrong way. Six yeah. this year and then give them the message. Yeah. Damn. Damn, bro. Like, what's the what's the what's the headspace that you be in when it's like, yo, you didn't see the other side. Like you said, you didn't live two lives. So when you mm -hmm. when 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 you want better for your friends and you see like, man, I'm giving them the real, I'm 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 delivering it the right way, but I can just tell they not they're not ready to to make this leap to where God and took me to. How you deal with that, bro? Like, do you be at no. peace knowing, like, hey, I tried? Like, one of the hardest do? things to do is, you know what your friend will do? He'll still your growth because you be wanting him to grow with you. Everybody don't grow at the same time. Mm -hmm. But what you can allow is them to still your growth because you don't only hurt yourself; you hurt them. Mm. What you got to do is, if they're your real friends. You give them time to grow. Mm. But get away from them. You go grow. This is what mm. I say about my friends. This is why I don't have time for enemies, right? I got too much time for my friends. Like, I have too much things to deal with with my friends. They probably tell you be one by the enemy. I don't have the time for you, my brother. Because mm. I don't put y'all no bad energy, right? Yeah. So I don't give a damn about nobody who don't like me or nothing. I don't care about nothing. Like, I have too much invested into my friends. These are the people mm. who I got who. I have to really figure things out with. So, but what will happen is sometimes they'll still to grow because some of your friends ain't ready to grow, right? Let me tell you what you do for them. Allow them time to grow. Those are the people who you can say, if you figure it out in five years, I'm going to still be here for you. Mm. But mm -hmm. I'm not about to hold your hand while you grow. I'm going to go grow my way, you go grow your way. Mm. If you survive it, because I'm going to be praying for you. Yeah. Whenever you decide to figure it out, I'm here for you. I'm here. That's what you do for your friends. Mm. So don't allow them to slow you down. Make them speed you up. Because some of your friends will show you, you need to speed up. You got to hurry up and save him. But, Shout out to Willow Boy. What up, Willow Boy? Yeah. Real one. But, like, a lot of my young dudes, let me tell you what I had to learn about a lot of the young dudes, right? Even Willow. I used to always be around there to do Willow, T.Y., The Soldier, The Jew, Nino. But I used to always tell them everything they were doing wrong. Okay. That was only me, as in never wanting them to be wrong. But I became an old pest. All I'm doing is telling them everything they're doing wrong, right? Yeah, and that kind of pushed okay. them away, huh? Man, it kind of made right. them a little... Yeah. Let them go. Let them bump their heads, right? Let me tell you one thing that I don't do with these young dudes, right? If I tell you something and you're going to make that mistake, when you come back to me, I'm not going to tell you I told you so. Okay. I'm going to say let's figure it out because you already know I told you, so I'm not about to smack you in the face with that. Because right. if I do do that, you're not going to be able to come back to me with a problem to give up. So I'm not the smack in the face guy. I'm the, all right, it's done. Because it don't make no sense for me to tell you I told you so. You knew that. You know that. That's what hey, so long to come out. You know why I respect that? Cause that's that's in that's in alignment with how God do us. God God don't slap us in the face with it. God God be like, you know that that I've been showed you that okay. not to go that way. But okay. when you come back, I'm still here with my arms wide open for you. I'm I'm still I'm still. Come on, you you ready to come back? God 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 God. That that's in the line. That's in the court. Like of the thing was, are you ready to figure it out now? There you go. Because right. I'm here if you're ready to figure it out. 
I've been here. We got to be the same way. Like, we got to be the same way, bro. Like, we, we got to allow them to do me and the OG. My job ain't to tell you what to do. It's to only show you that you have other options. I'm not mm. your father. Mm. And that's as OGs, we make that mistake in thinking. We tell these the young dudes what to do, but you don't mm. have no respect for them. You know my, my relationship is so good for, with them? It's because even at 13 years old, I respect them as men. Mm. I don't know what you've been through, man. You've probably been on a block since you was 13 years old. You've been taking care of your family. I can't come up to you and tell you, oh, you got to respect me. You don't have to respect me. Wow. wow. You're already a man. But yeah. I have to understand how to deal with you and how I deal with all of them. If I deal with them as a man, but I tell them, hey, I've been through a lot of things, bro. Let so, y'all, let y'all, what it do? Let y'all in the building. See, y'all, y'all taught, y'all taught me a lot too. He showed me that as in that the, to, to get real music last, because mm. we never knew that. Like I'm telling you, right? Like, we never knew real music could really make it until we saw people like you and LB. That's what allowed me to be myself. I always tell him, how am I still there, dude? International wow. band, you know, like, I saw the, I saw the documentary. You know when he put the documentary out, I saw I saw the documentary on on, on them and um and you're right, bro. It's like you don't you don't because all we do all we do down here in New Orleans is we hear the no limited cash money stories and it's like everybody else, bro. They got some stories to be told, man. That that when you sit back and you lay around and listen to what what cash done accomplished on the cool on the cool, you got legends down here on the cool. Like we don't even know. Yeah, bro. The problem is that everybody thinks that getting rich makes you like the man. The new getting rich is being comfortable. I ain't rich, but I'm comfortable. Mm. Mm. Like, mm. see, listen, you have the biggest. I, I tell everybody this well, on that record, like, you got one of the biggest flexes I've ever heard. What I said you on that. Say, could have bought a Rolls Royce. Uh, Bentley. Instead, what you did? I gave scholarships to students in my city. You know I mean? think that's not the biggest flex. Yeah. That's yeah. the boy. I tell everybody about that. As soon as they say something, I'll be like, "This is the biggest flex ever." Mm. Nigga, y'all want to talk about stunting? This is the. This is the. Let me show you what I could have mm. done, but what I did do. This is your perfect call that. Bro, man. See, I be say, "Well, listen." Why well, I say that verse, I say I say that the ball so much it's a shame. I'd be like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> on the main line. <laughs> man. Your master. Bro, bro that, that mean a lot to me, bro. Cause I, hey, cause I, I look, I tell you, you look, it. it take a it take a certain it take a certain mindset to be able to appreciate a ball like that. Because some people look at it like, man, that's lame. And I'm looking at it man, like that's well. why I got in the game. It's to be able to do that type of stuff. Show me who says lame to me and them can have. A, a, we, we, I don't do arguing. I do debates, but I would love to debate with them because one yeah. thing I'm good at war is me is being from the streets. I understand that like it's it's a difference when you learn your gift, right? I know my gift. My gift is the gift of gab. I can make things make sense, right? Period. I know I can do this, and I know I can reach different people because. Can't nobody say nothing about me when they come from the streets. I can tell you about it, but I can tell you when they gonna get you nowhere. Like mm. you might want to figure it out. Mm. So I gotta still help those dudes too. But mm. when I help them, we ain't talking about that street shit that you're doing. We talking about how you can get out them streets. Yeah. Because I ain't got no problem with how you feed your family. Maybe we disagree because I don't do that anymore. Mm. But I can't knock you until I can do something for you. I can't tell you stop selling drugs when I can't do nothing for you. That's the hardest thing about being OG, because there's a lot of these dudes who I would love to help, but it's hard for me to say stop selling drugs. All right, stop selling drugs, and then what? And then what? It's not like I have an option for you. If I have an option for you, it's a ball game, because now I can call your hands. Because what I do tell young youngins is, you fool around and call me OG if you want. You're my nephew, man. And I hold you. I hold you to some faith. Yeah. And then when you make mistakes, I'm going to call you. I'm going yep. to hit you in the DM. Yep. And I'm not yep. going to tell you what to do. All I'm going to tell you is I probably would have did that a different way. Mm. But my job, like you're a man. I can't tell no other man what to do. 
I'm not about to do you that. But what I'm going to tell you is there's another option. There's a different way you could handle it. And if Man. you respect me, you just going to respect my opinion. And maybe we don't agree. Mm -hmm. But the number one person I'm going to agree to disagree with is somebody who I flow with. I don't okay. agree to disagree with people who I don't deal with because we don't have those conversations. Gotcha. I limit my conversations. I push my conversations towards the people I love. And I'm not telling you I don't be trying to help people, right? But I'm smart enough to know that I can't put too much energy into that when I got all listed to. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You, you can't. Do, you can't, I, you, you, can't. You, I know you understand your mission, and it felt good to see you as in that because people will look at you as a, 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 a dude who does spiritual rap, right? But mm -hmm. you're a spiritual spitter. Yeah. You made it comfortable for me. Mm, wow. Because I was like, oh, y'all playing? What y'all know? Y'all talk about what he's rapping about, but you don't understand he He's really spitting lyrics. All right, I'm going to come behind him and I'm going to show y'all. Wow. But when you get through with me, you're going to have to go back and see him. Wow. Because you understand, boss is boss. It don't matter what we're talking about. Yeah. With me, since I started the, the OG series, I don't, if I can't give you no game, I ain't rapping about it. I ain't rapping. Can't no, I don't care how much money you got. You can't send me no shoot my bang bang record. I love how to do that. What I look like, bro. Keep your uh, money, bro. bro. I salute, bro. Thank okay. you, thank you well, for that, man. bro. Be because, I'm man, bro, and I'm not about to do it. Bro. Thank you for that, bro. Like I'm not that's, doing it. That's one of the hardest things for. That's one of the hardest things for. How much money? How much money you passed up? Oh come on, man. Come on, bro. Like what, bro? So much. Like it. That's the definition of all money and good money. There you go. There you go. There you go. But watch this. What I passed up in the short term, God you, blessed you. me and multiplied that in the long term. Like, Preach. it's just the truth. You ain't got to tell me. That's what I'm, I'm trying to, bro. These people, listen, listen. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay as humble as possible, bro, on here. So for whoever watching this, listen. Just, like, please do not judge what a man is working with and what a man investment portfolio and net worth is based on what car you see them pulling up in. Because trust and believe, trust and believe that like men and women of God, like we good, Joe, especially the ones who we walking in our purpose. God is like, I got y'all. But the beautiful part is like, you not tripping on having to show it off for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the part people don't get is when you, when you graduate from trying to impress the people that's down here and you're doing it for an audience of one, you're going to get all the things that you were, 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 were racking your brain like, man, how can I accomplish this? How can I get that? You're going to get it and you're not even going to care about stunting or flexing with it because you're going to be like, bro, like that's not what I do it for. But I still got it just by following God's purpose for me. And, and yeah, bro, I'm, I'm saying you know that. One of my, you know it was one, was one of my things that hindered me. Hmm. God is a jealous God, right? Mm -hmm. And I used to always say, God got it. Hmm. Which is right. Mm -hmm. But I used to give away all my blessings. I was trying to help everybody. Man. Any time to help me? Bro, I'm just telling you, I was good at it. Good at it. That's why you, 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 you can rather hear bad things about my name because I gave him a whole lot of blessings, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them hurt me because I gave away my blessings. God is a jealous God. Mm. So you have to always understand that God got you, but mm -hmm. you got to do your part because people always want blessings, but they ain't got no faith. Wow. Wow. You ain't got no faith, but you always want blessings. Wow. So when you get older, you care about a lot. Like, I care about everything. That's the, that's the worst thing about it. I see an old lady walking down the street and I be like, where are her grandkids? Like, Got let you. me jump out this car. It's just us. <laughs> I'm just telling you, like, I always feel like that, right? Yeah. But I know I gave away a lot of blessings, right? But what I do understand is God got me, but I got to take care of my mission that I have with God. I can't yeah. do what I got to do for God giving away my blessings. Bro, can't nobody right. tell you. Can't nobody tell you what I drive. Right, I wow. do it on purpose. 
Wow. Yep. I, because yep. every now and then, like, I stopped by and and all that, right? Mm -hmm. But then one day, Spitter came to me. I was talking, to, what, what me and Moo were talking to Spitter about getting a, the first Rolls Royce. And Spitter right. was like, I don't want that. Okay. Like, that's not what I do. Like, I like old school cars. And we was like, some things are not stunting this motivation. Because mm. the people who look up to you, they need that motivation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the motivation is showing them how good you live. Mm. Man, you have a problem with that. Yes, sir. Because I don't think you should be that far into my life. Like, I can give you motivation from my mouth. Like, the material thing shouldn't give you motivation. Everybody need to be people, taking notes right now. Everybody need to be listening to this, taking notes. Man, go ahead, but man. some Talk. people will only get motivation from material things. Yep. So it's a fine line we got to. It's a fine line we got to walk because at the end of the day, we want to get motivation, right? Yep. Yep. But you give too much and it's done. You give not enough and you're broke. That, man, are y'all listening done. to what this man is saying right now, bro? Yep. And, and that's when and that's when you're trying to motivate the streets. I would say it's mainly the streets. It's like you give them too much. They feel like you're stunning, and now you're a target because now they're plotting on you. Not, not, they, not, 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 they, not, they, not they feel played. They feel like, hold on, man. I feel like you're doing a little too much. And you accessible? Oh, bet you're a target now. You don't do it enough? Like you said, you, you, golly, you, 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 don't, you don't give them, you don't, you don't stun enough on them, and, and, and they feel like, man, you regular, man. You're on my level. It, it's like, and I be wanting to say it, bro. I be wanting to say it in so many ways. So this, this the conclusion I came to is, if I got a, if a person has to be motivated by material possessions, I'm okay at this point in my life with saying, that's not the person who God put me down here to reach. So, God right, put another one. You right, right, you're not his motivation. There you go. That's, that's somebody else motivated. Another soldier in God's army is going to be, because another soldier in God's army is comfortable saying, I want, I want the Rolls Royce so I can motivate them. David Augustine Jr., D1, I'm not finna go buy, I could go buy a Rolls Royce, but I'm not finna go do that just to motivate you, man. Look, like you said, I'm motivating with my words, you know Some what I'm saying? people need that. So let me show you this, the difference between me and Spitter. I motivate him to motivate him. Go get it. Got you. Go do it. I'm going to do yeah. it the other way. Yeah. Eventually, they're going to figure it out. Yeah. So we tag team him. Yeah. Yeah. They need it. Yeah. So you can't be mad at the ones who need that. We just outgrown them. Yeah. But we still got young and we just say motivate. Like, see, the biggest thing about a man is we it's everything is competition. Yep. It takes us so long to grow, right? Women grow faster than us. They learn faster mm -hmm. than us. Like 70, 30 women are more small. They think more. We move so much. We sit Big down. Fact. Like, yeah. I'm just telling you. We're not saying all of them, but mm -hmm. they relax. Mm -hmm. Us as men, we just have to understand, like, when you understand your purpose, first of all, you got to wake up and be able to look in the mirror and say, I'm a man. There's mm -hmm. certain things that I stand on. There's certain things that I will not do. Mm. Once you get that, see, when you become comfortable with yourself as a man, who you're forced to be reckoned with. That's what I realized in you. That's why it's so easy for me and you to chop it. Because Big I understand fact. you're comfortable as a man. Me and you can agree to disagree and go have lunch. Mm -hmm. Big facts. Big with fact. no yes, problem. Sir. Yes, sir. Because it's not but a debate. But at That's the end true. of the day, we're both talking about something. At least we know we're both willing to say it, right? Yes, sir. So yep. we're going to have debates. You may want to say it your way. I may want to say it my way. And I, we might... Just disagree on how we want to say, it, but we both on the same mission. And iron sharpens iron, so we making one another stronger by hearing a different perspective coming from a soldier that's in the same army. Ooh. I love that, man. I, if I can't, if I can't disagree with somebody, I can't grow. You feel me? I don't like yes, man. I don't like. I learn something every day, bro. Like I need people around me who can help me learn. Mm. Like, and I need people around me who inspire me. Like what you showed me was. Like, remember back in the game, like, people used to be so, so suspect on to give praise to God? Yep. All right. 
that game is over. So oh, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm straight from the streets, and I'm going to tell you, like, do not get it twisted. The only reason why I'm here is because of God. Don't be no fool. Like, don't let the streets fool you. Like, I'm smart as hell, and I understand the streets. But without God, you, to, I'd be so gone, it'd be a goddamn shame. Yep. So yep. don't get it twisted. But I I'm able stutter. to say that yep. is because of people like you, because you're not afraid to do it. Exactly. Bro, bro, I've had... Listen, man, I've had opportunities that God has blessed me with. Anything I could have ever wanted, signing to a major record label. Bow, got that. Signed with RCA. Had Cash Money wanting to sign me. Uh, Want to be on BET. I'm on the BET Hip Hop Awards on the Cypher. Uh, Sway in the morning. I'm up there. I'm doing all this. And I realized, bro, I realized that the times where I, where I felt the most peace in my heart is when I walked away from that saying, yo, I know God proud of me right now with how I handled this platform he gave me. But the times where I always felt like like anxiety and I always felt like weird was when I was sitting here thinking, how do I give the streets what they want? And how do I give the chicks what they want? And how do I give the college students and, and the jail, the people in jail you what they stop want? Trying, you got to stop trying to please all them people, man, and please God. Bro, you drive yourself crazy. Bro, what, you, what you want about them people for? They don't figure it out. Exactly. So... Bro, I, I I I I been peeped that, and I said, man, bro, I I, I smile so hard when I can get on national TV and give and give praise to God, and then still kill it. Oh, y'all about to give me the mic and let me spit too? Bet I'm finna give God His glory, and I'm finna murder this microphone. Like that feel way better than just all right. Let me let me get let me get uptown what they want. Let me give downtown my my people in the goose what they want. That man, look. I'm going to reach who I'm meant to reach out there, but I'm focusing on, man, what, what is God going to be pleased with? You know, and, and bro, that, it just, it just put me at so much ease. And then when you get to the point where it's like, man, ain't no rules no more. There used to be like this rule of how you had to be as a rapper, what you had to look like, where you had to be from. Man, they got people that's popping right now that's from Kansas. They got rappers popping right now. Preach. Bro, they got rappers popping that's from Bogalusa. It used to be like, if you ain't from uptown New Orleans, you heard me? You couldn't even be from the east. You had to be from uptown. Man, people popping from Bogalusa. People popping from Pachatola. You heard me? Like, like, man, bro. So it, it ain't no rules no more. So that's the thing that I, that I realized. Okay, bet. Ain't no rules. And everybody's time is limited in this game. So the worst thing you want to do is like this, Marcelo. When I was in school, every year, it would be the last day of school. And I would think back and I'd be like, man, I should have hollered at that girl, Brittany. I, I was scared to talk to her the whole year. Now it's the last day of school. I got all the courage in the world. Man, I should have been hollered at this girl. I'm about to go shoot my shot. But this the last day. So I ain't even really, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to get no time with her. Dang. And I used to always feel like looking back what I wish I could have did. My last high school basketball game, we playing old Perry Walker. I'm, I'm balling out, but I'm knowing this the last game I'm going to ever play in high school. Dang, that feeling. Bro, I don't want to get to that point where it's like my life is about to end, and I'm looking back saying, man, I had so much knowledge in me, so much godly wisdom that I was afraid to give people because of how they was going to view me. It's what? The most, the most dangerous thing in the world is a man who's comfortable with himself. Yep. When you become comfortable with yourself, you start worrying about people's opinions. Like you understand what you're here for, and you understand that people are going to disagree with you. Yep. You don't have a problem with that. But you know your intentions are always right. That energy is always positive. Mm. You can't be mad when negative energy comes because your energy is positive. You can't yep. feed into that. You got too much to do. Like, mm. I'm the definition of a person who used to feed into all of that, right? Mm. The best thing that happened for me was, see, like, I always wanted to be an OG, right? But I wanted to be an OG dope dealer. Okay. Because that's all I saw. Mm. I ain't seen nothing else. Mm. Once I start seeing other things, like, I start realizing, like, this OG is way bigger than I thought. Because my thing now is, I help these young dudes, to, and I tell them, you don't owe me nothing. The only thing you owe me is you got to help somebody else. Wow. Pay it forward. Yeah. It's like we got to keep this going. 
But my relationship with God was unbearable. Mm. Nothing come before that. Mm. God, family, money, and that order. Mm -hmm. It's truly God's fault. Yeah. Like, and what I started doing was, it got so crazy with, I couldn't even do music if I couldn't give a message. Bro, I feel you. One, I feel time, you. I, one time I was about to start doing music, right? The spitter called me one day and said, pull up. I'm in the streets. I pull up in my bins. Pull up, I move, I park my bins. I jump in the, in the, in the hall on a bus with him. I don't know who's about to move. The bus take off. I'm like, what the world, man, what are you doing? He's like, we about to go on the road. I said, I ain't got no clothes or nothing. He's like, we going to buy everything. Come on. Said, yeah, right. That's cool. I called my girl, told her to come get the car and all that. This one, I we, we, like, I used to be smoking blunts crazy. He was like, slow down with that, man. I'm like, killing yourself. He started mm -hmm. me smoking corn, but let me show you a message that he gave me. So I said, listen. I think I'm about to start doing man. He was like, you tripping. I was like, tripping how? He was like, you still got game to give. I was mm -hmm. like, what do you mean? He was like, you really still got game to give. And I was like, I knew it was a person who loved me and he wasn't telling me nothing. He didn't got to heist me up or nothing because at the end of the day, I could help management with him and with motion. I'd be straight for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. He was like, you tripping. Like you still need to give game. That's when I started the OG Love That OG series. All mm. that's true game. I gotta give you some kind of game. If yeah. not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing no music if I can't give you a message. That don't make no sense to me or you. I always tell people about selfishness, right? And they don't understand. But my daddy always told me this. Plant a seed, watch it grow because you never know when you might be good. If you mm. need it in the fall, it's on the ground. So you don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Mm. So what I start doing with this, with my OG thing is, I start making sure I help, start helping these the young to better themselves, especially when they came to music, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't gotta give me nothing because I'm known for doing this. So I'm gonna get me some money regardless. Money ain't hard to get, it's hard to keep. Mm. I've been right. rich, been broke a million times, but you can't tell me nothing about no money, so we can't have that discussion. Let's mm -hmm. not even talk about that. I can mm -hmm. show you how to do some things better with money because I've messed up with money so many times. Mm -hmm. Because so many people think of who you can learn from. I learned my biggest lesson from a bum. When I used to go to school, I used to always meet a bum at the store. I made sure my mom used to always give me $2 right? because I had to buy him an orange juice and him a donut and me an orange juice. Come on. Come on. Right. That man, you know what he told me? Huh? Exactly what I did want. What what that was? A bum. A bum. Wow. He taught that... me what I did not want to become. Wow. By showing me all the opportunities he had and how he messed them up. Mm. I didn't know that from jump. Mm. Wow. But he taught me, but young, it's not for you. Like, this is not what you want to become. You might want to get on that bus and go to school. Yeah. Because if not, you're looking at what you may become. Wow, bro. So out of all the lessons in the world, like, my, my motivation ain't rich people. My motivation is the slums. You know why? Because that's why I'm never going back. Yeah. The rich yeah. people, I can't. you can't be my motivation because some of y'all I may not become. Mm. But as far as these streets... I'm not going back down here. Yeah. So when the motivation, when it's time for the motivation, I look down, I don't look up. Mm. I'm already with God, but I look down at where I come from. Mm. Well, it makes me appreciate a lot of my blessings, right? And mm. it makes me get my mind right when I'm feeling some kind of way about not having enough money or something. Sometimes I got to look at my house and be like, I'm tripping. Yeah. I come from the projects and the guy ain't never had no shit like this. I wasn't living like this. What the hell am I complaining for? Fix yes. it. Yes. Just stay quick. I fix it. Yes. And I put it on another level to where I'd be like, I'm complaining about the wrong things. I'm mm. complaining when I'm blessed. Man. But it's me so busy being in competition. I won't I won't have what J D have with Pub that had. That's not for you. Right. 
God ain't developed that for you. Certain things are for certain people. Are you comfortable? Do you worry about anything? Do you want for anything? Well, what are you complaining for? So and sometimes know, I look in the mirror and be like, you stupid. And you don't know if they got peace. They might they might got paper, but you don't know if they got peace, you heard me? They might not have that inner peace, man. Just because they got the, the paper and the material possessions and, 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 and the and, and the products, you know what I mean? That don't mean that they got that internal peace that you got. I've had more money than I have right now, right? But I always okay. tell my youngest, I'm living my best life right now. Because wow. I'm, when you want to talk about living your best life, <laughs> I'm the definition of that. Bro, I'm living it and I love it. I love to see it. Regards. I love to see it. I'm pushing out nothing but positive energy. I love to see it. I have no enemies that I know of. Yeah. Yeah. I, none. I don't push that out. Yeah. Your name what, good. Your name good what, out here, boo. What am I complaining for? Hmm. What is there for me to complain about? Because hmm. they complain hmm. to slow you down. I ain't trying to be complaining. That shit stop me from doing other things that I could be doing. Right. <laughs> right. I ain't trying to right. be complaining. My time is right. too valuable to do some complaining. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm selfish. What I mean by being selfish is people take it the wrong way. But I understand why people say you have to be selfish. I'm so selfish that if I grab a young man and I put him on some game, if he don't do better than me, I fail. You got to do better than me, nigga. You can't do what I'm doing. I already did that. Hmm. Slow wow. down. Be man. efficient. You got to do better because you got my game and your game. Wow. So you're ahead of your time. You think yeah. you're supposed to do better than me? I'm not going to get jealous of nothing. That's my activate. If I'm happy, that's what makes me LG. You got to do better than me. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Like, yeah. In order to be a legend, I got to feel this. In order to be a... Hey, y'all, I, I hope y'all I hope y'all soaking all this up. In order to be a legend, you got to be a legend. I have to. Mm. I always tell my youngest, I'll be like, y'all slowing me down. Y'all mm. messing with my legacy. Because y'all mm. slipping. Y'all ain't doing what y'all got to do. Y'all ain't catching up fast enough. And I understand the ones who I'm telling that to, y'all should be ahead of your time. You're slipping. And you're slipping and slowing me down. You got that much respect for me? Get it together for yourself. Ooh, man. Boy. Boy. Yo, this, this is gold. Look, everybody on here saying, man, Mr. Marcelo need to start a podcast. Man, Mr. Hey, Marcelo. Listen, October 31st, the podcast, Chop Again. I would I welcome you. Oh, I ain't playing. Oh. Hey, listen, let me tell you something about the podcast, right? Let me just show you something. I did a podcast two years ago before everybody even thought about it. Go look on YouTube. I did the podcast about, um, I did the first one with PNC. I ain't understand how to get paid. I had to go figure it out. Mm. It took some time. Now that, I fig now that I figured it out, I don't have a podcast. I got a network. Boom, enterprise. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go get a few dudes who I feel like should have a podcast, including yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can pull mm -hmm. you right in. You get your own money. Mm -hmm. But we'll all put, if I build an audience, my audience will go to you because mm. it's a network. Man. So October 31st, I got the Chapel Game podcast coming up. I got Nim Venom with um, the Sex After Dog podcast. I got the Black Golden Girls podcast. I got B2B, the, 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 the hood preach the hood preacher podcast, like Boom. And we got to then we got to get your money and get out the way podcast. Anyway, we're, Boom. Not we're not black. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so you know you know what's the craziest thing about boom? You know what boom means? What it building mean? Out of, building opportunities out of mud. Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it a hundred times more now, bro. Boom. You know why I call my you know why I call myself Marcelo from the ghetto? Why? Dad went high education teach us. Wow. Gather high education teach us. <laughs> I love this dude. I love this dude. Bro. I love you more, bro. Like Man. you 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 for it was the person for me who made me more comfortable with with my relationship with God. That's what you were there for, though. Yes. God put you there and said, I'm going to show you how comfortable you can be with repping me. Yeah. You, you, won't, you won't be so street 
Let me yeah. show you. Let me show you street. Let me show you the street. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you somebody who can show you. And as soon as I think that, I was like, oh yeah. Oh, so I can do this and still. All right, you ain't saying nothing. Man, bro. Man. Uh, 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 a humble, a humble OG, a humble legend, a, a wise, a, a wise man, but still learning, still growing. Like that's that's so rare. Every day, every day, bro. Yeah. That's so rare, bro. Yeah, yeah. You and I appreciate yeah. you, and I just like. I appreciate you, man. You got you, you, When I said I was gonna do this year, and I think you should do more this year. We gotta be more outspoken. Okay. Okay. We call soldiers, and we ain't, we ain't, we ain't scared to rep what we stand on, right? Facts. Talk it. Facts. People gonna have their opinions regardless. Facts. But that ain't got nothing to do with the person who helped you. Don't nobody help you more than God. You, mm. you, you might want to be tooting this hard. Because we'll toot our own horn, but you ain't going to toot God on the one who really made it happen. Well, I'm tooting me. And I'm just saying, we come, I'm, I'm, I'm street, right? I be trying to show them, like, don't let, don't let this street shit fool you. Mm. That's not how I laugh. I, I'm smart as hell. Mm -hmm. That's not how I laugh. I got a business, I got a master's in sociology. I got a mm -hmm. master's in business. But... The biggest masters I got is the yard. Man. I'm just telling you. Man. But they, they, but they ain't used to hearing nobody from the street say that I ain't tripping. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah. need it. They yeah. need it. And I ain't afraid to say it. But I can tell you, you are part of the reason why I'm not. Thank you, bro. Thank you. We, we. Nah, nah, I thank can, you. I can tell, I can tell, I, I'm going a, I'm to a end it by saying this. I can tell that we are both bridge builders and, and we making it you know god is using us to build bridges to make to make it to where our people can walk across that bridge and get closer to where he is you know to be in relationship with him and we just different parts of the bridge bro i'm a certain oh. part of the bridge and you a certain part of the bridge what? and it's like together we that much stronger because i know that i'm paving the way for certain people but I'm reaching people that 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 I'm better suited to reach. You oh, reaching people right. that you better suited to reach. Oh, and right. now, and now the devil really mad because when they see that old, but me, me and you together. Say I'm say listen. All I'm gonna tell you is devil about to be busy on you, boy. Word. I'm just Word. telling you. But I always say when the devil get busy, I have no blessings on the way. Come on, come on. So what? So you know when the devil get busy and I be in my field and all that, I stay inside. I ain't about to get nobody no bad energy. I'm going to go and kick back. <laughs> devil, you're not about to let me. Man, listen. Every time the devil even think about playing with me, I'll be like, you messing with the right one. Come on, man. Like, I'm too hard to touch. I done been through everything. You can't man. trick me. I don't be worried about people tricking me out. My spot, the devil will trick you out spot better than anybody, right? So I'm not fighting against people. I'm more or less fighting against the devil. But the biggest thing is, I'm walking with dogs. Yeah. So, Mr. Devil, you're in trouble. You yeah. might want to find somebody else to take your time with. Well, you're wasting a whole lot of time over here, Playboy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love it. I love it, bro. Damn. Damn. Bro, the people on here, I can just tell, bro, the people on here tonight, they so they so blessed by this conversation, bro. This 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 got me hyped, man. Like I I saw you in the comment, I was talking to my little nephew. You know, I got I got three little nephews, man. My best friend got killed um about about ten ten years ago, and all his all his little nephews that he left behind, you know, they was three four years old, man. So I took them under my wing. So that's like my little nephews now. And I and I saw I saw him on here. He in ninth grade, and I had him on. And when I saw you, I'm like, this. Is I was coming. This. Yeah. I was coming already because this was destined. Because I was gonna hit you probably tomorrow and just say we gonna get on live one day and chop some game. But we gonna do this. We don't. We gonna start doing this, just because people need to hear. It. Like, let's, let's start trying again. You think they will do it once a week? Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm with cool it. with that. Yeah, because yeah. Like you, you, you get it. You really get it, right? And mm -hmm. we get it from two different levels. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Still, for us, the class. You right, because bro. It looks like class. But we ain't doing another class and then blowing up. We blowing up some shit for So it's another ball game. I love it, bro. Bro, I'm so happy right now, bro. This is this is great, bro. This is this hey. is great. I'm I'm down for that too. I'm down. I'm I'm all the way about that. Um, everybody that's on here, y'all can look forward to more of these conversations. You heard me? Cause um, this right here, this man, this 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 is like a full 
this is like a full circle moment for people because people sitting here like, I wasn't expecting this tonight, and it's like, good. That's when God do the most amazing things is when you were least expecting it. They did not know what they was finna get tonight, bro. They did not know this. Man, I was in here watching the game, and I seen you popped up, and I, I was just listening to your voice. I said, let me go holler. When I seen you on and I saw you talking, I was like, this is time. That is. Like, that's why I told you. You could have talked to the nephew as long as you wanted to. I told you I'm going to be here when you're ready to pop in because I knew <laughs> we needed to have this conversation. Man, bro. Never wasn't going to stop this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, y'all, I want y'all to know this, too. This is the true mark of an OG. Like, when, a, when an OG is walking in his calling and walking in his purpose, the people who he pours into, they always leave the encounter or the interaction feeling feeling like their cup is full, you know what I mean? Feeling like their tank is back on full. And that's how I feel right now, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I know, bro. Like, I, I appreciate you for what you're doing, man, because I just feel, I feel extremely motivated right now. Oh, I think the, the screen froze. Screen froze on my man, Marcelo. Yeah. His phone might have died. He might be getting a call or something, y'all. Iron sharpens iron. Amen to that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. you back. Yeah. I appreciate you, my G. Like, oh, I love I, Way more than you know. And I mean, I've I always been a fan of you musically because yeah. you, 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 you took a step that a lot of people wouldn't take and you stood mm -hmm. on it. Because mm -hmm. another thing that I have to tell people is this, bro. Sometimes we'll, 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 we'll say things, like I always hear young people say, I say this and I stand on it, right? Sometimes you're wrong. Mm. You can't stand on things that you're wrong about. Mm. You got to mm. correct yourself. But mm. we all say things out of emotions, out of anger and all that, right? Mm. So you don't have to stand on everything that you say. You have time to correct it. You know, you make mistakes. Mm. I don't know what happened with you back there. So you might have mm -hmm. said something that you ain't had no business saying, but what I do as me, I try to hurry up and correct myself because you got to think about the people that follow. You don't want to leave your soldiers into no water that you know they can't win. So don't do them mad and make them stand on something that you don't feel that way tomorrow. If you say something that then you don't feel that way tomorrow, say you don't feel like that. Say you, I don't even tell people like my bad and all that. I say I'm sorry. I apologize. Sure do. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I stand on that. Yeah, because I know it make more sense. Like I, I don't have no problem with saying that. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm gonna leave you with this. Also, like that, that the message. This happened today, and I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Sometimes you mm -hmm. give a person the message, but you'll say it the wrong way. You'll curse them out or something because okay, you know we right. We talk it like we write, right? Like, like we say it more aggressive and all that. But you'll hurt somebody's feelings. Mm -hmm. So guess what? They miss mm -hmm. the message. So you'll tell a person something that you know you say right, but they feel them be hurt. And that's your friend who has to fix their feelings. You got to apologize for hurting your feelings. Other than that, they'll never get the message. Mm. So you got to watch how you deliver the message to the people that you love. Mm. Because you'll take it as being so disappointed because you're trying to help them, but you say it wrong. You got to mm. be careful how you get a message. Get a mm. message the right way. Because anytime I have a problem, if I ever had a problem with something you did, right, B? I'm mm -hmm. going to pull you to the side. I'm going to be smiling now. Come here, man. Let me talk to you. Because I want you comfortable because you got to understand that what I'm about to tell you is not to hurt you. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like, come here with your jive ass. No, I'm not gonna do you that because I don't want you to feel some kind of way about the words that I said before I gave you the message. Because mm. I can your feelings. Mm. But, but as friends, we'll always hurt our friends' feelings. And mm. then you're like, I don't care about their feelings. I said what was real. What mm. about their feelings? Mm. They ain't even heard what you said that was real because you hurt their feelings. Wow. So if you really won't give a message, you got to be calm and understand how you have to give it because if your intention's right, you want them to give the message. So I'm going to wow. tell you when you're most comfortable is point. Because I'm not telling you this to hurt you. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to make some statements. 
yeah. they might not only hurt you, it may hurt me too. Yeah. So I'm gonna sit you down and be like, say, well, see the way you handled that? You know you ain't had no business on that. Don't do that like that, bro. And we can have mm. that conversation. Mm. And it's mm. easier for us to have that conversation because you understand, I'm a person who loves you, so I'm not trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. You'll understand it better. So we'll yeah. we'll figure out a resolution for it. Yes, but indeed. Understand how you deliver the message. Mm. Mm. It's a nice topic, baby. You gotta understand how you deliver the message. Be one, I love you, brother. And like keep doing what you're doing. Like you inspired, you inspired even though you man, you're blessed to Without you, it would be no me spiritually. I wouldn't man. Yeah, chop it like I chop it. Like that's why I chop it like I chop it. Like I'm I don't cut no corners. I'm a I'm a soldier in the streets and I'm a soldier for God. The only reason why I'm a soldier in the streets is because I'm trying to help. Yep. You can't be too far away from things that you're trying to help. Well, I got I got your back, bro. I got your I back you. always. Say, we'll figure out a date and we'll all we'll, we'll, we'll do some chopping it up once a week. Let's chop some game, baby. All right. I, I appreciate you, and I love you, my gene. Keep doing what you're doing. You killed that verse, though. I'm, I'm serious. I'm thinking about going to do my verse. It's over. You're down bad. Oh, you about to? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're an OG. You can do whatever you want, bro. Do your thing, bro. I can't wait till the song come out. Hey, y'all. Mr. Marcelo. I told you the man. I told you the Mr. Marcelo featuring D1. song called uh, Roses, huh? It's called Roses? Give me my roses while well, I can still smell them. Give me my roses while well, I can still smell them. Don't wait till I'm on my way to heaven. I pause. Lord in heaven. Lord in heaven. Give me my roses while I can still smell them. Yeah. Hit me, man. Yeah, I love you, brother. I love Stay you, too. Stay on the positive note, man. You ain't doing nothing wrong, man. Don't let the devil get the best of you. But I'm telling you, the devil about to be busy. You, you hooked up with one of God's soldiers in the streets. You know how the devil gets. Yeah. Be careful and have a blessing. You know that. All right, babe. Be cool. All right. Love you, brother. Love you. Strong. Strong, y'all. Ooh, that was strong right there, y'all. Ooh. Woo. Look, before I log off of here, I just want y'all to see, man. I just want y'all to see the manifestation of that's God. That's God right there. That's God. God's perfect timing. You know, I did a feature for Mr. Marcelo. Um, all my people on my Patreon, y'all know about that. Um, I told y'all a couple months ago that I did that feature for Mr. Marcelo that was gonna be coming out soon. Um, that conversation was divine right there. I'm glad y'all got to see that. That's a true, like he said, he's a soldier for God. He's also a soldier in the streets, you know? That's really what he come from. That's really a life that he lived. That ain't something he just talking about. So um, at this point, for me to hear him say that, yo, my boldness for God has helped inspire him to be more bold for God. I'm just like, man, God, just keep using me because... I know the people who I help, you know, I, I think I know the people who I help, you know, I hear from y'all a lot and, and I'm thankful that we have a relationship. I'm not knowing in my mind that my walk with God and my, and my, my, uh, you know, my prowess on the microphone and my boldness in terms of being, you know, a, a spiritual soldier is inspiring Mr. Marcelo. I'm not knowing that cause he's inspiring people that I'm not able to reach. You feel me? So we just different parts of that same bridge that God is using. So think about that. Everything I'm talking about, think about that and apply it to your life. Apply it to your life. Apply it to just being comfortable with the fact that you have a lane that's tailor-made for you and you don't have to try too hard to, there you go, Sid, this is bigger than us. There you go, Meech. You already know. You already know, Meech. Yep. That's it, y'all. Um, They say you helping me. Yep. That's brother getting through the fire. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, people, pe people watching who you would never even know. So just know that every interaction, like Mr. Marcelo said, every day, it's like you got to protect your happiness. But, yo, the way, you, the way you interact with that one person who you see crossing the street or who you hold the door open for, that stuff could really go a long way. That person who you slide in their DMs and just send them some love and some positivity, they might not even respond to you. You leave a dope comment under something they posted so everybody can see this dope comment you left. They might not even respond to you directly, but they're receiving it. So be conscious of what you're giving out, what you're giving off. You hear me? That's powerful, yo. Super powerful, yo. Frontline soldiers, you said it best. I know God got a plan for me, 
but I don't know what it is. I'm just out there trying to handle my biz. Yeah, that's what it is, y'all. Um, y'all keep y'all y'all keep up the great work wherever y'all at, whatever y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? All my MVPs, the whole Mission Vision Army. You heard me? The whole Mission Vision Posse. Y'all keep it up, man. Y'all keep it up. I'm going to definitely do it. What up, Catherine? Mm-hmm. Y'all keep it up, yo. Super excited. Super excited, man. That was a great conversation. So I'm glad y'all got to see JoJo, Kyrie, and then Mr. Marcelo. We just, we just graduated all night. You know what I'm saying? Went from the BGs to the OG. You feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, JP East Side. I see y'all here. Love. All love, all love, man, all love. That's all I'm just wanting to, in the purest way, just give off that love, you hear me? So, yeah, shout out to BR, 225 in the building. What up, let's sis? What up, Zakoya? See you in this thing. So, yeah, I'm about to roll out, y'all. Um, I'm about to roll out, man. I feel great right now, man. Golly, I got to write something. I got to go work on something. I got too much. I got to go work on something right now. So, yeah, y'all be cool. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be real, be righteous, be relevant. You heard me? Three is up. You already know what to do. Peace, man. Holla at y'all. Go check out the new video. Uh, long time coming on YouTube and racist Christians on YouTube right now. Just click that link in my bio. Yiddy. Peace.